We call them the Cash App Kings. The Cash App Kings are going to be maximizing that equipment. The sexy pick is McLaren. The boring pick is Mercedes. My pick is Ferrari. Okay, I like that. <laughs> George is going to come in like a scorned lover. Does Lando Norris win a race? We'll answer it at the same time. <laughs> Three, two, one. What's up, man? they doing oh uh, uh, 2024 i can feel it i can feel, feel it coming in the air tonight, tonight. oh f1. f1 max was stepping winning every race oh yeah everyone <laughs> will stop watching <laughs> <laughs> this podcast will no longer <laughs> exist yes baby no that's not what's gonna happen this year that's fucking. I'm. 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 I'm calling it now. This is the 2024 predictions episode. Max Verstappen is not winning every race this year. Ooh, bold. 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 Call me well, crazy. Hot take. But it's. It, and I'll say this. I'll say even more. He's gonna have. He's not gonna be as dominant in 2024 as he was in 2023. He's not gonna have as dominant as like the most dominant season ever. Well, yes, but he's. You know, everyone's like, it's just gonna compound. Like, who's gonna be able to catch him? He's. He's. It's gonna. He's gonna take a dip. The other, the other fucking teams are going to fucking, he's right now, he's sitting pretty, and guess what, he's still going to win, but there's going to be some people sometimes nipping at his heels, and the main person going to be nipping at his heels is named Lando Norris! Let's go, <laughs> dude! We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Okay. Okay. This is, yeah. All right. Let's, let's start with who we think is going to finish Dead last. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna start with the constructors. We're gonna be doing lots of predictions today. We're gonna start with the kind of the basics. The constructors championship. Who's getting last? It's gotta be a Gunterless Haas, no? Or is it Steak F One Kick Team (laughs) Sauber? Steak F One Team Kick Sauber. (laughs) Steak F One Team Kick Sauber. Let's say that fifteen times fast. Steak of One Team Kick Sauber. Steak of One Team Kick Sauber. Steak of One Team Kick Sauber. I gotta say. Rolls off the fucking tongue. <laughs> I got to say, everyone's hating on the names of the new teams. Okay. Steak F1 Team Kick Sauber, Cat Visa Cash, Cash App, App Red, Racing, Racing Bulls. Bulls. But let's be... I just want to... I'm just going to go off for a sec. Cook Daddy. The, 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 the idea that everyone's like, oh, the corporatization of F1 is disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. Oh. Like stop, stop! Why, why do these teams have to like be such corporate whores? <laughs> it's crazy. Do you know why the fucking things, why the curbs are red and white on every track? Because Marlboro paid for that to happen. Yes. The cigarette company. Everyone's like, oh, steak. Do you know what Formula One, the the grounds that this was built off of, was fucking cigarettes and alcohol. What are you talking about? And oil. You're 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 mad at fucking steak or Visa Cash App, but you're but Aramco, uh, Aston Martin is fucking fine with you. Like it's it's so fucking all the, the, the Aston Martin Aramco. Yes. The Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One team. I mean, like, Lewis doesn't know how to fucking say the team. Yeah. Toto doesn't know how to say the team because these teams, this is the most fucking, this is the most. They're the biggest whores in, in, in all of the world. It's the most capitalist sport in the, in the world. There is no sport that is driven more by capitalism than Formula One. So if you don't like that or the ways that it manifests, then stop watching the fuck. Like, just just be consistent. That's what it's always just been. Be consistent. That's what and it's then, always and then been. Stop watching. Do you know? Do you remember this? That that that, that the UK banned cigarette sponsorship, like like promotion. No cigarette ads. No promotion. No anything. Yes. They banned that shit. And then Bernie Ecclestone walked into Tony Blair's fucking office and said, yeah, "Yeah, you're going to ban that for the rest of the UK, but we're going to have 10 more years because we have sponsors, namely Marlboro, and they're not going to be happy with this. So so, so fucking Formula One got to be, all these teams got to be sponsored by Marlboro for for another 10 years because this is a capitalist fucking sport. That's what it is. That's right. That's right. 
That's just what it is. That's the that's the bed you made. That's the that is I, the the partner you fell in love. That's who you married. Yeah. And now you're like also, clutching also, your pearls also, at the, Visa Cash also, App. Also, Shut the fuck up. Also, the 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 actual core name is a branding exercise. Like Mercedes is a brand. Yes. It's Ferrari like it's is like a the, brand. Ferrari is a brand. McLaren like is, is a, a brand. brand. It's like, I wish it was just one brand instead of two or three brands, right? Everything's a fucking brand. It's not like they're the New York Yankees or right. the Red Sox. Right, who are, who are who, selling fucking, you know, baseball bats. It's like, no. No, it, they're not a team. It's not a team name. It's a brand taking on another brand. Yes. It's all about brand it's awareness. It's a promotional tool. Yes. That's what the fucking thing is. So it's like I I'm sad that it that they're promoting a visa a, a cash application instead of a car. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Yeah. Why is why is this racing team selling me this instead of that? So stupid. So I dumb. can't wait till we're the Visa Cash app Red Flags podcast. We will, I'd love to be the <laughs> Visa Cash app Red Flags podcast. The steak kick team Red Flags podcast. You know? Like, that's what this, that's, that's, that's what it is. Senna Marlboro. Schumacher Marlboro. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. That's everybody, just what it everybody is. just wants to get professionally mad about it. Yeah. Shit. It's just fucking and, and us, we're just chill guys. We're chill. <laughs> just we're chill. chill okay. Guys. We fucking digress because this was supposed to be a predictions episode, but I came in hot. Okay. I can't I, decide who's yes. gonna come in last. Yes. The team that's promoting Haas Machine Tools <laughs> or the team that's promoting um uh, online up, gambling. Online gambling. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, both mm. have no identity anymore. I want right. to I want to touch on this really quickly yeah. because Gene Haas was saying, yeah, you know, because Gene Haas engineer, yes, it's all about the engineering. You yeah. know, Gunther is you know more pomp and circumstance. Yeah, Gunther was all about you know <laughs> this stupid thing like publicity, yeah, yeah and yeah. bringing money in, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like who needs that <laughs> and making sponsors happy, yeah, right? Yeah, because yeah. So we, as as we were just saying, sponsorship isn't important right. to F one. Yeah, whereas I O. Right. Is about he's about the fucking he's about the fucking technical. Yeah, shit. he's just here's gets in my there. one problem. Yes, yeah. I O was already in charge of all the technical. I was running everything. I O as Gunther was killing it, making deals. Yes, bringing brand identity to Haas, absolutely throwing two hundred miles per hour. Yeah, and drive to survive. Io was designing the fucking car that didn't work. Yes. So if you were going to bring in a, like, so I don't really understand what's going to be like, different Io's now. kind of been the head coach the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> He's been the offensive coordinator. He's been the offensive, offensive coordinator, coordinator the whole time. And then you fire, like, the GM and then keep the rest of the team. And, because, and you're like, the offense is going to slap. The offense is going to fucking be lit. It's like, wait man. a minute. You're yeah. promoting the offensive coordinator to, well, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because... I'm supposed to believe that the car sucked because of Gunther. Right. When right. Gunther's <laughs> out just fucking, right. like, literally in those wooden boats. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. that's what he's doing. Yeah. And killing him. So it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, if you if I was going to buy that argument, you'd have had to have hired, yeah. like, an Otmar or something. Right. Like, just bring in somebody new. Yeah, yeah. What's what's going to be the change, you know, be the change which you see in the world? And how's I, that going to be? And I do want to say yeah. that they would have finished ninth. Yes. And we wouldn't have been having this conversation if Alpha Tauri, the artist formerly known as Alpha Tauri, yes. hadn't started picking up steam at the end of the year. Yeah. The narr so right. that's where I'm kind of confused between that's why I'm trying to like figure out like who do you actually think is gonna suck worse? Well, they're gonna be they're gonna be way better this year, seemingly. Haas should have finished ninth if Alpha Tauri didn't But they still would have finished behind Alpha Alpha Romeo. So like you know, all right. If so I'll put Haas. I'll put Haas last. I think it's Haas, but then I, it's really a toss up. I really don't know. I don't because it's like this. It, what's interesting? This stake F one team kicks Sauber. That's like a, a short term investment. Thing yeah. Because that's going to be turnover. Audi's coming in. They are kind of like a team in this like. They're in, in, in arguably more Nowheresville than than Haas. Haas may be making decisions that you know don't seem like they make that much sense given what they're. I'll put Haas in last. I'll put I'll put uh, Stake F one kick team Sauber. Yeah, in ninth. In ninth, I think definitely. So, okay. In ninth. All right, eighth. So this is where this is where this kind of gets interesting because we got Williams, we've got the Visa Cash App Racing Bulls. Oh no 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 no. We've got Alpine. 
I think Williams goes. I think Williams is solidly here. They even I don't care how well they do. They only have one driver. That's true. So they're very healthily. Fuck yes, innate. that's so true. And I I think that there's I do think that there's going to be a, a bit of a gap. Like I think that like, you know, Haas the ninth and tenth might be like close. I I I think that Albon continues to make strides. Hopefully, Sargent can like. I think he'll be better. He'll be better. He'll definitely be better. I, he'll, he can't be worse. <laughs> <laughs> hard, for me, hard to be worse. Hard to be worse. Hard to be worse. Um, but I think Albon will be scoring about 80% of those points. Yes, definitely. And you need it to be closer, you know, 60-40 for, for that, for it to be a productive midfield team. Yeah. You need to be in the ghastly Ocon sort of range. Yeah, and until and, and until like Williams can really like spend that money on what they really want to spend the money on, which is like the the larger the, the structural wind tunnel, the wind tunnel, their for their systems to be updated x y and z, like I do think that they are going to be kind of not be able to kind of make that stride into being, you know, hanging with Alpine or hanging with the racing bulls, like you know, like that kind of thing. So, I think that Williams, Williams, the only team not selling anything in their title. It's true. Just a legacy racing team. Well, and, and they're owned by Darlton, but that's not yes. in the that's not in the title, right? So, but we know who like who's you know moving and, and moving and shaking. They got the Duracell thing on the top. I mean, okay, but but I'm talking about naming rights. I know, I know, rights. I know. Yeah, yeah, talking about naming, naming rights. rights. Um, sure. Yes. Yeah. Williams. Eight. So Williams eighth, seventh. Who we got? We got. We, I got motherfucking. Alpine. You're instead. putting Alpine here? Yes, because I think that these racing bulls <laughs> I think these racing bulls are going to be racing some fucking bulls, baby. Me too. Me too. I have them high. Okay. Well, not that high, but high. I, I'll put Alpine here too. I think Alpine's here. I think that they're I think that they will be close with, with said racing bulls. I think it's an interesting this like this middle area is interesting because I'll I'll tell you who I I have Alpine in seventh, I have Aston in sixth, I have Racing Bulls in fifth. <sighs> yeah, I I agree with you yeah. only because Aston has one driver. That's right. That 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 the competition yeah. around Aston is going to be closing up with with the with the Racing Bulls right. with the Visa Cash. App. Yes. Those Visa Cash App boys, yeah, <laughs> are 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 going to maximize that car. We call them the Cash App Kings. The Cash App Kings. The Cash App Kings. Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricardo. The, 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 the Cash, Cash App, App Kings. The Cash App Kings <laughs> are going to be maximizing that equipment, and Alonso is going to be kind of all by himself. So I am going to put. That's why I put them sixth, and then the Alpine boys seventh. Yes, and then the Racing Bulls in fifth. The Racing Bulls in fifth, because they got that. Red Bull equipment. They got that newy. They're driving. They got that and, newy yeah. runoff. Yeah, they got the newy runoff. <laughs> One man's trash. Yes, <laughs> is Visa Cash App's treasure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The execs. It's like Adrian Newey throws out a design, and, 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 and then like all these like execs from Cash App and Visa yeah. come like scrambling yeah. into the fucking <laughs> in the trash bin. What oh. is a Visa Cash App? What is Visa Cash App? Is like Venmo. Oh, okay. That's horrible branding. I remember that. That's like a whole, like someone, someone in Visa yeah, yeah. Cash App died <laughs> when you said that. I remember it's a way of sending money. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's, sending, like, it's like it's like Venmoing money someone. <laughs> just, that's I know it's tough. I mean, they they I fucking remember, cornered the market. I remember when the NFL paid so much money to have like Microsoft tablets. Yeah. And I was watching an NFL game. <laughs> And it's like, and they're yeah. going to their iPads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Microsoft guys must have had yeah. like an absolute shit fit. Yeah. And like, you know, they're that like, the it's a Surface Pro. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the, you know, the Jacobs of the world were yes. like having like the NFL Jacobs who had gotten the brand deal. Right, right, right. Our right. brand manager guy at Friday Beers was like, <laughs> it's not an iPad. It's not an iPad. And then the next, after the commercial break, it's like, they cut to them and they go, so th we've been told they're not iPads. You see the you see Bill Belichick here is going yeah. to his iPad like device. <laughs> <laughs> they started calling it an iPad like. Wait, he actually did that. He called it an iPad like wow. device because they couldn't remember that it was like a Surface, yeah, the surface or whatever the, the fuck it was. Pro, and you know the Microsoft people wanted to 
just oh, off themselves. so many emails were being sent. So many <laughs> furious emails. Just a billion dollar deal, just free advertising. <laughs> They're paying to advertise the iPad. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny to think about when <laughs> and that's what's so interesting about F1 actually is because like I I bet the Patronus team like the people at Patronus are so upset that in every season of Drive to Survive both Lewis and Toto are like what's the name of our team again? Like there there must be a, there must be a Patronus exec who's like are you fuck oh my god yeah. Like it makes them look like shit. It makes them look terrible. They're giving them millions of dollars and Lewis and Toto are getting the names wrong. Now it's well, it's Well, it's an it's, icky company, Patronus. Of course. I'm not saying that they're I'm not I, I, I'm not I'm not crying for them. I it's just think the it's the Aramco of it's the Aramco of M Malaysia. Malaysia. Patronus, I think it's Malaysia, Patronus, yeah. And they've been accused of not great things. Yes. I'm not. I'm not sad for the company. I'm not sad. For I'm laughing at the executive who's mad about the fact that like Lewis and Toto always, and and then it's like Drive to Survive. So they like, oh, well, we have that on camera now. So like that's going in the episode. Yeah, that's yeah. obviously going in the episode. All right. So what do we got? So we got we have Haas. We have okay. Uh, yeah, we, we got Haas. Yeah, Stake up one, two, Sauber, Williams, Alpine, Aston, Racing Bulls. So now we're getting and that and this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets really interesting. Top four. Top four. And this is where we can maybe have like the larger conversation around because it's like what's happening at the bottom. It's kind of it's happening at the bottom. I mean, obviously we're we're you know we're bullish on the racing bulls being beating Aston, which is a bold I'm, prediction. I'm bullish on the Visa Cash App. The Visa Cash App. The Cash App Kings. The Cash App Kings. Um, n now we're in Red Bull, Mercedes, McLaren, and Ferrari territory. Hmm. And I think we know it's like we all know that it's going to be Red Bull at the top. How dominant they are, we can we can discuss. But this is kind of oh, in so this, Red Bull's one. Number Red Bull's one. one. So now let's we just have to let's. It's Ferrari, McLaren, and Mercedes. Who's making jumps? Who's making strides of that this battle? This is such for, a tough call because yes. Mercedes. I want to bury Mercedes in just. 20 feet of concrete. Yeah, sure. And just say that they suck and that they're dead and that Toto's not good at his job. And, right. And that's what I want to do. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. But I want you to remember something. Yeah. Mercedes last year, having a horrible, shit, dumb, fucking, <laughs> their drivers were fighting. Yeah. They, they put the wrong car out on the track. Yeah. Then they, they had to scrap the car with the, with the zero side pod car. Then they had to scrap that car. Yeah. Change uh, horses midstream with the car that actually had side pods like every other car. Yeah. Um, and they had to realize like they were like all the other girls. <laughs> yeah. They still came in second. Yes. Like with the most dysfunctional, like Mike Elliott's actually not the guy and we're doing yes. musical chairs. Right. With the letter. Right. They came in second. Yes. With just the most nightmare season you could. So it's like. Could you imagine how well they're going to do if they just don't have a nightmare season? Yeah. It's they hard do, to imagine yeah. them having a worse season than they just had. Right. And I know there's a lot of hype around McLaren. They had a great last two-thirds of the year. Yeah. They have trouble when the ride height is like... They have, they're, 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 they're a little circuit-specific. Mm. The the car that was actually consistently the fastest, they just couldn't set it up right. Yes, was Ferrari. Yes, so it's just like it's kind of a yeah. bloodbath for me for like who actually is second. I know it's, a, it's the sexy really, pick is McLaren. Yes, that and that's the boring my, pick is Mercedes. My the boring pick is Mercedes. My pick is Ferrari. It, 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 okay, <laughs> I like that. I like that. I think that's a really. I think it's a solid. I think it's a, that's a solid choice. I I, I think I trust Fred. Yes. I have faith in Fred. All they have to do is, and this is a big if, all they, and this is the problem that all of their team, their downlines, yeah. I'll call them because it's a fucking pyramid scheme. Yeah, yeah. All of their downlines couldn't figure out the tires yes. in the race. Yes. But Ferrari had that, had one of the, had the fastest car on Saturday, yeah. pretty much, other yeah, than, yeah, yeah. you know. But that's been, that's kind of been their shtick for three years now. Yeah. Like that was. That was their shtick in 2022. Uh, really, two years. That was their shtick in 2022. That was their shtick in 2023. They still have not been able to figure that piece of the puzzle out. But they were the only car. Remember when they they were the only car that gave Max like even a bit no. of a sweat in 2022? Yes. That Leclerc like yeah 
for a second there. Yeah. Um, no, it's whether it's really like if they can figure out race pace, if they can figure out how to get some fucking race pace in those cars. And that car got better. Yeah. By the end of the year, when Leclerc started to figure out that car. Yeah. Um, I think it's also interesting. So the the, the, the pro Mercedes argument also is like James Allison's back as the technical director. Crazy that he was ever gone. If Crazy that he was guy. ever gone, but like all their super, super fucking, you know. The super team. The super teams, like he was, you know. It, but it's like if they, it's like bringing back all the Marvel guys. It's like, does anybody even care anymore? Well, it's like, do they care? I don't know if they care, but like, are they, can they get the job done? It's, you know, it's like in terms of like numbies, who the fuck knows, but like in terms of, you know, getting the wrong guy out who was, you know, Mike Elliott with the fucking zero side pods. It was like, I'm, you know, putting it all on red again. Yeah. Putting it all on red. Because they won one time. In, they, yeah. In Brazil. Because George won in Brazil. But I do feel like, and this is what was interesting watching that season, because you're right. Mercedes does have like this, like, they, are, they seem like they're stumbling. It's like watching someone like running a race where they just look like you're going to fall the whole time, but then randomly you still get second. Like, they, they look like a shit show, but then they're still yeah, wind they have, up. They, they wind up in second. Yeah. But in this last season, like, the first half was dominated by... The first half... Aston. Aston. Second half, McLaren. And, and Ferrari was also kind of like... Didn't have pace on Sundays. They were like the tortoise. Yeah. They were like the right. tortoise. Yes, they exactly. Just, they were just... They were mid the whole oh, time. Yeah. So they never even had high highs. And I guess when I think back on this last season, like yeah, who true. even had... Who even could could smell Max's fucking socks? Who could fucking like take a whiff of Max? It was close enough to even get a scent. Carlos was, Sainz? Well, that that's Singapore and that doesn't... That, to me, that doesn't fucking yeah. count. Was... It was Ferrari in moments. Even at Monza, there was like you know there was some that was kind of entertaining, and they were up there. But, but it was it, it was, was McLaren, it was baby. McLaren. It was McLaren, baby. And I think at the end of the year, Mercedes just didn't even know what the fuck was going on with their car. Like they didn't have an, an, an answer. They didn't have a solution. So I think that like the cars fast, kind of, but they don't even un they don't understand it. That's where if James Allison can kind of get in there and be like, this is and kind of. Put the put the camera into focus and take the little wrench, the little fucking button that's like cranking, it, fucking up the system and frank and fucking you know cranking. Take the spanner out of the works. Thank you. Taking the spanner out of the works. God, wow, that was a crazy little thing I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Unwell. Um, I am ultimately stupid. Let's remember that. Um, that if he can do that, then I think Mercedes is a player. But I don't. I, I just don't have faith, and I think I have faith. In like what McLaren was able to do, I'm just like maybe I'm digmatized by like how bad they started and how they were able to just like fix their car and and come up with a, with with a solution and have it work pretty quickly, and the fact that they have these two Red Bull guys who have been on fucking gardening leave who are coming in. Mm -hmm. I just and I trust that driver lineup more than I trust even the rest of them, because George is a fucking like more than McLaren signs. I feel like there's more tension with them. Honestly, I feel like. Mm. It's three good driver lineups, but like I feel like Oscar's going to figure out tire deg this year, mm -hmm. or he'll be better at the tire deg, which is where he struggled the, the, last the, year. The Mercedes thing is going to be explosive, I think. Yeah, it might be. Oh, well, I think Lewis is going to kill him this year. Yeah. I think because the, the car is going to be less chaotic. We can agree. Mm -hmm. They've Lewis has been talking about his seat positioning right. for a long time, and right. they finally like they're finally putting the seat where he wants it. Oh, right. He wants it further f forward. Forward. forward yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, finally yeah. putting the seat where he oh, wants. Oh, are it. they? Yeah. Ooh. So like, he Ooh. already he already bodied George like having the seat not where he wants. It. Right. So I think it's gonna be ugly for George, and I think, I think we're gonna have a black swan moment, but like reverse. It's gonna be the young guy going black swan. That he goes crazy. Like he goes Natalie Portman. Yeah, 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 yeah. On on Lewis. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. absolutely unhinged. Yeah. And. How do you think Toto Wolf feels? How do you think Toto Wolf, the team principal, feels about re-signing himself? Do you think that was a good decision for the team? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. He signed himself. So weird. Yeah. That's like he's just he's just he's 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 just unchecked. <laughs> just no notes for himself. 
It's <laughs> he's I, like, yup. I am, I'm loving my performance. Like he goes, like he 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 signs. He shakes, the, his, he own shakes his own hand. Yeah, <laughs> he's like at the press. He's at the table. Yeah, he signs the thing. Everyone's taking pictures. Then he gets up, shakes his own hand. Yeah. <laughs> we're thrilled to have you on board, Toto. Yeah. Thank you, Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Well, to keep you on. <laughs> I think I'll sign myself for yeah. another two more years. <laughs> Fucking crazy. It's just, like just a it. reminder that this guy has n no accountability. Yeah. To anybody really. Well, it's like you have it's like it's weird that he even like has a contract. It's just like kind of like that's like Lawrence Stroll. It's like you know how no one knows what like Lance Stroll's contract is? Yes, it's rolling. It's just a rolling contract. Yeah. Because the his father owns the team. Yeah. Just like how Toto owns the team. So he's just like in a rolling position. Yeah. Fucking crazy. I mean, he only owns a third of the team, so maybe it's like you got to I guess technically maybe you have to do some of that shit, but it does feel like <laughs> But he might be the biggest shareholder. Right, yeah, he still might be able to, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe a couple make of guys majority. get together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he might be he the biggest. He doesn't own 50% of the team, though. Of course, but he's probably the biggest of course. shareholder yeah, yeah, yeah. of the team. I'm going bold here. I think it's going to go Mercedes in fourth, Ferrari in third, McLaren in second, Red Bull in first. And I and I'm and and maybe that's Delulu, and maybe a year from now we'll look back and be like, you know, don't doubt you know, stupid to doubt Mercedes, but I kind of feel like they've lucked. I think they lucked out in 2023 by the other teams not having their shit together. And now the other teams have like gotten their shit together. And I think it's going to be a, t I think it's a brutal year for them. Mm. I mostly agree with you. Should I agree with you less? I mean, I actually think, I think it's probably going to be, I'm going to guess Red Bull, Ferrari. Yeah. McLaren, Mercedes. I like Mercedes in fourth. That makes. I me mean, happy. it makes me feel good. It makes me feel makes good. us both feel good. feel good. So like, and then we'll see what they can do with the technical regs. But like, I just you know, it's 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 something's something's got to give. I just think that they fucking lucked out in twenty twenty three. I think that that second place was kind of a fluke. And had Aston been able to keep it going, or had McLaren, you know, been able yeah. to get there earlier, then Mercedes would have been in fourth this year. It's true. That's what it would have happened. Or, or if Aston or, had two drivers. Yeah. Right. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's these. Those are our lists. The only the only place where we differ is that I think McLaren's in second. You think Ferrari. Mm -hmm. But that's those, those. That's some predictions. In Fred, we trust. Now should we go? Let's go to let's go to um, driver battles. All right. Some of these are going to be pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. But so, K Mag K Mag versus um, Hulkenberg. I think K Mag will get him this year. Honestly. You think Hulkenberg seems like a bit of a quality merchant. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah. And if the car shows up and it has anything, if, if, if there's anything more race related, Hulkenberg had like one freakishly good weekend where he qualified really high. Yes. And he, he had a few really sprint, bright spots. He had like then, really bright spots, but in terms of consistency, K Mag was actually a little better. bit more consistent. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to pick K Mag. All right. I'm, I'm with that. I think, no, nah, I think, I think Hulkenberg's. You know, I'm going to zag. I think Hulkenberg's going to be... I think K-Mag's just a little bit... I think he's still a bit too chaotic. And I think he gets himself in more trouble. I think that Hulkenberg is still a bit cleaner. Mm. And he's and he's got the Saturday pace. Well, fuck you then. Okay, so... <laughs> God forbid. God forbid I, I'm the least important one. I go for the other guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep the intensity up. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm just we were to... getting a little too... Yeah. Someone, someone in a YouTube comment was like, I wish you guys would disagree more. I was like, you do not want yeah. that. I was like, you... you <laughs> like, be guess careful what? what you fucking wish we're for. Like, we're like, guess what? We disagree and it doesn't make it to air. <laughs> 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 um, what's next? Uh, F1 Haas. team kicks Sauber. Uh, oh, stake F1 team kicks Sauber. Think uh, Joe's making a think no. Joe's making improvements oh, this no, year. No, yeah. It's just the question is is like does Valtteri Bottas take his foot right far up and uh, off the gas? Is he doing too many nude, nude portraits? Right. That maybe yeah Joe gets him. Yeah, is he still is he putting in that work, and or is he going to be lazy with it? I think is he looking at his four hundred one k, being like, "Wow, like I really never have to work again." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "This gin company is actually doing amazing." <laughs> right, um, that's the question. His trainer's like, "Hey, can we do some, you know, calisthenics?" And he's like, uh, "I have a, I have a photo shoot I need to yeah. go to." 
I'm gonna be naked he, off. You, I'm gonna be naked hanging off of the Eiffel Tower. Do you think Tower. he just does those Instagram <laughs> workouts where he's just doing glutes all day now? <laughs> yeah, he he's becomes doing, like um, what's his name? He's doing the Frankie LaPena. <laughs> 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 I, you know what? That needs to happen. Yeah, Valtteri Bottas and, and Frankie, Frankie LaPena Le need to do a collab yes, yes. because those are the two. You know. You know the most recognizable ass in Formula One, yeah. and, the most, and then the, the most, most recognizable, recognizable ass, ass on the internet. in the world. Yeah, arguably, you know, it's like you think Kim Kardashian looks at him and she's like, "This fuck, <laughs> 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 like I gotta take down Frankie." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the internet, yeah. one post at a time. Yeah. That that needs to happen. Yeah, um, he is the Frankie LaPena of F one. He is for sure. Um, I think yeah, he's just doing like hip abductors and like, glute bridges, <laughs> yeah. and squat, deep squats. They're like both us is like sitting higher up in his seat. It's actually <laughs> fucking up the uh, yeah. They had to readjust the halo, fucking up the arrow, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it doesn't cover because his head goes because he got so much cheek to yeah. work with. Um, I kind of no, feel think Joe's gonna lose. I think Joe's gonna lose. I I feel like Botas is gonna like make an improvement this year. Actually, I think. Yeah, no, I think Botas, his whole goal is just to beat Joe. Yeah. So however much effort that takes, he's going to put that in. Right. For sure. Easy. Um, yeah, because it is kind of getting a little bit more to, like, crunch time. Like, we're we're, we're, we're gearing up towards, like, are you going to have... Because let's also not forget, these are contract years for all these guys. Oh, right. Yeah, no, no Botas is going to want maybe... Be like, hey, Audi, maybe. Exactly. Maybe. Or, or if there's will, movement elsewhere, it's kind of like, this is the year where, like, it's it's time to... You know, heads are gonna be rolling. So, yeah. like, no, this if he wants one more contract, he's got to show out. Yeah, I think he's gonna dominate. Um, Williams. I mean, we we know what's gonna happen yeah, here. Um, do we think he is respectable? Yeah. How many like points do we think Logan Sargent's getting in twenty twenty four? If they're if they're seventh, th how many how many points did Albon get last year? How many points did Albon get? Yeah. Let's see. I think he might get. Four or five points. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I was, I was like thinking maybe even higher. Five to eight. Let's see. Albon got twenty-seven. Oh, last shit. year. <laughs> shit. Albon got twenty-seven I think last year. He might year. get eight. I think he'll get eight. I, I was thinking eight. eight. All right. So we think Logan Sarge twenty twenty-four prediction. Logan Sargent gets it's eight points. eight points. Yes. Yeah. Like, what's the over under on that? You know, we do it. We go. You know, that'd be a good custom bet. Good bet MGM yeah. bet. How about yeah. that? Over under on eight, like seven and a half points, you know? Ooh, that'd be a great bet because now we're just rooting for Logan to get points. Makes it interesting. Every week. Yeah. Every week. Oh, God, please get a point. The over on seven and a half for Logan. Ooh, is that like plus 300? Plus, like, yeah, plus 300 ish, but probably. Yeah. yeah. I, think that's a, I think that's a solid that's bet. A solid bet. I think let's, that's a let's solid do that bet. bet. Let's do that bet. Um, Albon. How many points? I mean, how many points do you think Albon's getting? He got twenty seven this year. At thirty, yeah. I, I think, think I think car, it's, is that car doing? Is that car doing any better? We're, no, and, and then and then with Alpha, you know, with with you know Cash App Kings, yeah, you know, rising through the ranks here. I think that, but I, I could see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it'll be probably be around the same. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's go to Alpine. This is a really interesting one. I think Gas has got him. You think? Oh yeah. Mm. Or you it was think his first year. It was first year with the car, year, and he and he beat him he by beat like him. by like one or two points, but he still beat him. Yep. Ocon had more retirements, but you know that didn't stop them from fucking you know bragging about it when it happened to uh, Alonso. So yeah, I also saw a rumor that they're that that Ocon's like not long for that they're not that excited about him what? over at Alpine. That's I mean, a that's a thing that I saw on the internet, and now I'm saying it on this podcast. So you know it's legit. <laughs> so you know it's legit. And we did, yeah, because there there could be movement there. I mean, they could stay there, but there could be some movement there. They could try to bring in. Who would they try to bring in next? What did we say on our that? What did we even say? <laughs> I don't remember, but who fucking cares? Um, they could bring in a Carlos Sainz maybe if 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 Ferrari's getting rid of him. Um, yeah, you think Gasly? Do you think? What do you think? Because because okay, so this year, Ocon had fifty eight. Gasly had sixty two. Or they or they try to bring Albon up, right? Ooh. Albon could go there. Yes, he could go there. Okay, yeah. but so so, Ocon had fifty eight. Gasly had sixty two. Four point differential. What do you think? How much do you think Gasly's winning by? 
I don't think it's big. I think it's like five, ten points. 10 I think points. it's like 10, 15 points, 10. maybe. Oh, I don't think it's 15. I don't think Ocon's letting that happen. Okay, well then that's another. <laughs> okay, that's another bet. How much does? What's the over under on like Gasly beating like, you know, if it's? I think it's no more 10. than four or five. Four, oh, oh and, pff, ten points is like ten's, ten's asking a lot. I think that's plus four hundred. That's a lot of points. That's a lot. Ocon's crashing into Gasly multiple times <laughs> before he lets yeah, that he'll, happen. He'll take us both out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, take them both out just so that they ruin the yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alpine will finish me. dead last before that happens. It'll be like in uh, in Gran Turismo <laughs> when yeah, when yeah. Uh, Kato or whatever it'll the be, Kato or whatever his be, name was. Um, it'll be uh, the the girl in Squid Game where she's like, "You have a little dick." Yeah, <laughs> you have a tiny dick. dick ah! and she grabs him and. I mean, no better person to say that to <laughs> than the Pierre Gass- Tripod Gasly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is how Ocon no, takes him out. It takes him out. <laughs> you yeah, have a tiny dick. dick. Vroom! Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. crashing into him. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, I like that. Okay, then we got Aston. I mean, we know what's going to happen yeah, here. These are actually pretty boring. All right, so next one is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a slaughter. You know what's happened there? Okay, well, then this, this, is, this is interesting. Daniel and Yuki. Yuki's got him, baby. You think? Uh, Yuki's got him. You think Yuki's going to beat Daniel in points? Eh. Over a whole season? <laughs> <laughs> you, Over, know? <laughs> you know? Not just one race. Not just like any given Sunday, but like a whole season. A whole season? You're right. I mean, Daniel put his head down and... Hey, this, is a, this is a big year for Daniel. It's also a big year for Yuki. I know, but like, think about it. Yeah, but it's they like, want to put Daniel in the in the seat. They don't want to put Yuki in the seat. <laughs> That's true. It's like in uh, Gran Turismo, where where they're like, where where the where um, Jan wins by one thousandth of a second. Yeah, and right, Orlando right, right. was like, but Maddie, <laughs> but <laughs> the so American true. kid has got so much riz. It's so true. No, yeah, those, those, those I, are the I, I would love if they tied. That would be beautiful. Or Yuki won by like two points. By like one point. Oh, and final Red Bull was like, yeah, but <laughs> what is it? What are points really? <laughs> and this scoring system is so subjective. Yeah. Um, you know, we did some quiet testing sessions. and um, The question is, if Yuki is beating Daniel, do they, are they giving him that seat? Even if they're tied, are they giving him that seat? It's going to be a hard. going to be a hard sell. It's tough. Okay, so you're taking you you. I'm taking what are you, Yuki. You're taking Yuki. I'm taking Yuki just because he needs it. He, they both need it. I'm taking Daniel. Dan, Daniel's had a very long, great career. That's true, and has made plenty of money. But here's what's also interesting: is like Daniel, like think about like he left. It's like this journey, right? This is this journey. Jon Snow. He le- yes. He's back at he's Winterfell. He's back in Winterfell. And it's all burned down. And, it's, and it's right. And, it's, and he, is he going to fucking become, you know, is he going to become Jon Snow? Is he going to, is he going to, you know, and I guess Max is Daenerys. <laughs> he's going to link up with Daenerys, kill Daenerys. Right, right, right. King. Yes, exactly. He's going to realize, yeah, it's like yeah. my lover. Yeah. Um, yeah, this whole journey. I mean, he let, he leaves Red Bull. Goes to Renault, leaves Renault, goes to McLaren, gets whooped by Lando, gets out of the fucking sport, comes back, and this is like the this is the you know this is the final chapter a bit of this book. This is the end of the book, and is he Yuki, gonna come in hot? Yuki, so is that does that mean Yuki's like Roose Bolton, the <laughs> bastard? <laughs> yeah, maybe the guy. Who- yeah, the Battle of the Bastards. Yeah, <laughs> could not think of cut a off, least cut off uh, Gasly's dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm taking Ricardo, but I think it, I do think it's close. I think he maybe edges him out by like five points. It's tough. I don't think it's a dominant. Uh, I think they're I think they're hanging with each I'm other. I'm picking Yuki just because I I need I need it to happen. Okay, Mercedes. It's a, it's, a, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> it's a massacre. <laughs> Lewis is massacring him. Yeah, I think he's going to... I'm predicting at least one crash. Oh, yeah. How many cra- How many Lewis George crashes at in least, 2024? At least... Over, over under is one and a half. One and a half, yeah. So 
One or or yeah, two. At, one to two. Yeah, I think there's there might be two. At least I think at least with two. with this leadership, it's two. And what do you call a crash? Like them bumping or like a, like a one of them gets taken out of the race? Because I think there's going to be some. I think those cars are going to be together a lot. Yes, because we know like what George can do on a Saturday. Those I think it's going to be that car is going to be in its own little some world. Strategy hail marys yes. that will force them together. Yeah, even though Lewis will be faster on race pace. Yeah. Um, and this is do or die. They 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 uh, skipped Kimi Antonelli skipped three grades. Yeah, <laughs> yep. They're like, we need you like now. Now, so George <laughs> is gonna be. He does not want to be labeled with that number two driver. No. So it's gonna be a bloodbath, and he's gonna be pulling up. He's gonna be doing all sorts of trick plays this year. Yeah. Um, and I, I think- can't. It's one of the more. It's gonna be one of the more exciting storylines. I think. Gasly Ocon is going to be exciting. Mm-hmm. I think you know Yuki Daniel is going to be exciting for the because that because they're going to be fighting over you know yeah. Perez's carcass yeah and then um, this is going to be the, just the George slowly descending into madness. This is going to yeah. be yeah just amazing. Well, all of twenty twenty four is going to be a bit of like a musical charity kind of year. So even if it's like even if the season's boring and even if it the is pressure's like pressures on all these guys. There's it's 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 this is like gonna set the tone for like the next however many years. Like and then like the music stops and they're just like, oh yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, they're all gonna be scrambling. They're all gonna be scrambling. Yeah. So I really think we're gonna be seeing some real desperation from George this year. Now this year, Hamilton was at two thirty four, George was at one seventy five. I actually I think it's going to be closer than it was this year. I think that I think I, I know that you're, you're you're going bloodbath. I think that George is going to be. I think George is going to pull out. He's going to try to pull out a Rossbergy kind of year. He's going to be within like ten points of Lewis. That's what I think. Mm. That's my prediction. I think he's going to crash. I think he's going to try to you know pull out more dick than he has. Yeah, and he's going to hurt himself. You think it's going to be yeah bloodbath trying to pull out extra dick. Yeah, you might be right. If they're, and if they're moving, and if they're moving his seat forward, if Lewis is like, I've been wanting this for a few years, yeah. now you're finally giving it to me. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's happy learned how to putt. <laughs> yeah. It's over for you. Fuck, I know how to drive this it, shitty car yeah. now. Um, okay, that's good. Although if Mercedes struggles in the midfield, that might help George. Mm-hmm. Because as, as George as, likes as, playing in the mud. Yeah, and as Fernando Alonso said, this guy only knows how to drive from the front. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I just think he'll just lose interest. He might lose interest. That's true. Yeah, no, he just won't care. Yeah, if they're if they're solidly in fourth, and if the if the car is just not there, and they're behind Ferrari and McLaren as we were predicting. Well, that's what happened in 2022 a little bit. Although I think Lewis was like working on setups, and George yeah. was like, I just want to beat my team. Right, right, right. Um, they're both also both those contracts are through twenty twenty five, so there is a little bit less of that musical chairsy pressure. Certainly on but Lewis. George is about the narrative. I mean I mean Toto did when Toto resigned, he was like, I am resigning for twenty twenty six so I can win beat Red Bull and win a championship with Lewis. Oh, did he say he that? He said with Lewis. <sighs> so it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. And George is gonna come in hot it's, this year. Yeah. Yeah. George is going to come in like Off a the scorned top lover. Yeah. Like day one, he's going to be like, hello. Hello, George. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's going to be sexy. I, I cannot... didn't know that Toto said that. Yeah. I mean. That's, when he, that's what he said when he resigned. He can't wait to beat Red Bull with Lewis. I'm kind of into that. I you kind think of. Lewis gives a fuck about Toto. I kind of feel a little bit bricked up by that. Do you think Lewis gives a fuck about Toto? I think that I think that these last couple of years have been tough, probably for you know. It's like when you see the person that you always kind of maybe credited with some type of lofty thing, and then all of a sudden you're like seeing, you know, you're seeing the dirty underbelly, like the, you know, that the um, the Wizard of Oz. You peek behind the curtain, and you realize that it's you know, maybe not the yeah, guy that you thought he was. Yeah, but he's one at McLaren, I guess. I know, but his whole. His his big shit. It's all been at Mercedes. Been I Mercedes. think he cares about Toto. I think I think it's been a tough couple of years, but I don't know. You him just saying that makes me a bit bricked up. 
Because I'm horny for that storyline. I'm horny for that to happen again. Yeah, but Toto is always like me and Lewis, and Lewis is always like, <laughs> Lewis never says anything about Toto. Yeah, 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 sure. Lewis is never like, it's us against the world. Yeah, 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 sure. So it's just like, you know, got to win the eighth. <laughs> me. <laughs> you know? It's just me. And everybody there. back at the factory. You never everybody know. Factory. It's me and everyone back at the factory. He's well, just one of those everybody back at the factory. Well, he also maybe knows like what, you know. Like who's actually doing the fucking work? Yeah, who's who's actually giving him the car? Um, okay, Ferrari. Who's rehabbing his fucking shoulder? Or whatever. <laughs> his <laughs> knee. knee. Uh, Ferrari. This is a this is a fucking interesting. I mean, fascinating one. Leclerc. Yeah, it's Leclerc. I think it's Le- Charles Leclerc. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Show Charles. the hat. Show the hat. Charles. It's Charles Leclerc. Charles. You think this is this is the year where Charles Leclerc silences that debate? Yes, and then all the Carlos Sainz fans say, "No, well, they developed the car more for sure." Oh, shut the fuck. I also think that if the right, <laughs> 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 I think if if Carlos sees a bit of the writing on the wall, then he'll be like, "Yeah, he's always he'll be distracted." That's how he's. That's what he means when he says smooth operator. He's not talking about on the track. He's talking about off it, baby. Yeah. Off he is the smoothest operator did, did you off know, the track. You know what I'm, you know what I learned? No I, one navigates that this re- this high school of Formula One better than I, Carlos. Re- I read somewhere, I forgot where I heard it. I heard it somewhere. Yeah. That he got on that Red Bull team, like they didn't want him. It was just like, hey, Carlos, Carlos Sr., like, you'll drive our Dakar. You'll you'll Right. And he's like, and you'll take my son into your F1 program. And they're like, Okay. <laughs> like, he was such an after. But then he fucking just stuck around. He stuck he's around. He's a fucking survivor. Yes. He's that a That kid is a survivor. Yes. He finds a way to mm-hmm. fucking stay in it. Mm-hmm. And saw- now he's in Ferrari. Like, yeah. he fucking found a way to get to Ferrari. Yeah. Did you um you watch all the stuff where, where Carlos Sainz Sr. won Dakar this year? Yeah, because he's, 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 he's one of the greatest. He's a do fucking legend. He's a legend. He's a. F- it's unbelievable. He's one of what? What four times now? Yeah, and he's like nine hundred years old. <laughs> I mean, he's not even that old. He's like our age. <laughs> he. No, he's not. He's like sixty something. He's our age. No, I was <laughs> he's like he's younger than you think he is. Sure, but he's so just like he's like he. <laughs> he's the fucking Dosakis guy. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is, is there more the most interesting man in the world? No, he is the most. Interesting he's the most interesting world. man in the world. Yeah. He's hot. He's. Salt and pep. He's all fucking. He was like a salty. He was like a squash champion. He's, he's the fucking shit. Yeah. And then he was crying. Do you see him crying? Because he's we were talking about Carlos. Because they were talking. He were he the, you know Carlos surprised the whole family surprised oh, him. Right, right, right. He didn't know if Carlos was coming. Yeah. Then Carlos. He saw that Carlos was there. And of course, Carlos. He's such a dad. He loves his dad. He he's loves dad. his dad. He's such a. Carlos is such a my dad can beat up your dad. Yeah. But, <laughs> Guy, yeah. but it, but hey, he's he's right. He's right. He's, he's 100 right. He's so right. Yeah, but it are, is interesting. Those guys who are just like who just like walk around being like, my dad's the shit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, my dad's the shit. Oh no, actually, my dad's all fucking in the shit. I'd rather hang out with my dad than like my friends. Brian, are you are you one of those guys? He is one of those guys. You're, isn't he? you're totally one of those guys, aren't you? No, nah, like I love my dad. Like, <laughs> I'm not like like riding that guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard you. I've heard, I've heard you talk you, about I've heard him. You and wax it's, a little poetic about it's your It's pretty dad. glazy. I'm not glazing my dad. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not the Dosecki's guy. <laughs> He's a cool kid from the Bronx. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Listen, he fucking had to break some fingers back in the uh, day. Yeah. You know, it's what it is. That's enough. Could he have gone? Pro, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You threw a perfect game in sixth grade. Yeah. <laughs> perfect answer. Perfect. perfect answer. Yeah. If, if if my dad was Carlos Sainz Sr., fuck, that'd be crazy. I think everybody worships their dad. You do. When and then you turn like nine. <laughs> well, yeah, I worship I mean, my, but yeah. I know people who like worship their dad like to this day. And I'm like, right, it's a little bit weird when someone's like in their thirties and they're like, my dad, like my dad, my but dad, my dad. yeah, yeah. Carlos Sainz Senior is just, I mean, he's he's just the shit. Yeah, there are there are there are wife guys, <laughs> yeah. and then there are dad guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Carlos Sainz is a dad guy, and there and, and usually the two don't mix. Yeah, um, no, <laughs> big time, big time. And I guess there are are there are mom guys. Definitely big time mom guys. Uh, yeah, it's 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 different. It's more like secret. It's You're just like, like in the dynamic. 
Mm. It's like you see it. It's like you don't know what's happening. Like and guys then, don't talk about like guys never like tell their brag. guy friends like my yeah. mom's the fucking yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you how cool my how lit my fucking yes. mom is. But then you like go to your house with your friend and you're like, oh, your mom just like is rubbing your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I know who that is. I know who <laughs> so that that's is. a lot of people. Yeah, that's a lot of people. people. Um, it's yeah. There's they they go into like baby voice with their mom, and I'm like, what? Is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. What are we? Oh, say so we have Leclerc dominating science. Yes. What do you think that gap is? What was it in twenty? What's a dominant gap? What was it in twenty twenty two? It was rough in twenty twenty two. In twenty twenty two, it, was, it rough. was rough out there for you, hoes. Yeah. For in twenty twenty two, Leclerc had three oh eight. Science had two forty six. <laughs> Actually, not. I mean, you know, sixty two points. Yeah. And then this That's a twenty percent bump. And then this year, Leclerc just, had two oh six. Science had two hundred. So you think it goes back to like forty fifty? What's the over under? The What's the over under in that? Well, I'm going like 20. 20? Yeah. You think over? I'm going over 20. I'm going under 20. All right. But I do think Le it's still Leclerc. Yeah. I'm going over 20. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going over 20. <laughs> I'm back yes! in my fucking guy. Yes. Over 20. Your lunch. Leclerc is beating. Your lunch buddy. Yeah, that's right. My <laughs> friend, my close personal friend, Charles Leclerc, is beating Carlos Sainz by over 20 points in 2024. You heard it here. <laughs> Moving on, McLaren. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. What was the? This I is Lando, where this is where you like, don't want to see us disagree. No, no. This is this is this is Lando. But what was the Deffy last year? The um, deficit was like not as cute as you think. Lando was at two hundred five. Yeah. Piastri was at ninety seven. Over a hundred points. Okay, so I think it's closer. Twenty. Over under twenty. Oh, over. Over twenty. Over, baby. Or do we want to move it to thirty? I think it's like forty. Let's see if he can get it halfway what it was this year. I think it's under forty. Under forty. Under forty. You I think that's over, a solid bet. I'm under forty. I'm going over forty. Over forty. Okay. I'm going over forty. Okay. That's bold. I think. Okay. I think it'll. I. Okay. I'm going bold. It's 40. Does Lando Norris win a race? Okay. Whoa. Well, well, We'll answer it at the same time. <laughs> Three, two, one. No! Two races! He wins two races <laughs> this year! You heard it here first. In 2024, Lando Norris will win two. It's he's a Grand high Prix class, races. He's a high class Hulkenberg. It never happens. <laughs> <laughs> he's winning two, and guess what? I'll say Piastri's winning one. Okay. I'll say it. He's right. winning two, Piastri's winning one. All right. Maybe more than two. <laughs> Maybe three. Maybe he runs the table. I'm bullish on Lando Norris. Okay. This is a year where he fucking it's... gets that monkey off his back. He's winning at least one, more likely two or three. <laughs> and I'll say what they are right now. Monza. Silverstone. <laughs> and maybe Monaco. Those are the three he wins. Wow. Wow. He's winning those three. Put it are on TikTok even, and let people call me an idiot. Are those even his best races? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm shooting fucking from the hip. I feel like he... He Austria, almost won Monaco. I, I he almost like, won Monaco when Ricardo won Monaco. Different car. Like Austria might have been one that could have been there, or I forgot where he's... Well, this year it was like the car only, you know, came into its window towards the end of the year, so that was a different, oh, I see. you know. Brazil, he was, you know, he was, he was doing well. Um... Yeah, we're, we're yeah Brazil. He was that was the race where he was like within four seconds. Well, it also might be a thing. It also might be a thing that at the end of the year, maybe if if Max is dominating so much and they have it, they have it locked up that maybe they stop. They're already on to the next car. They stop apparently. developing the. They're they're they're. Well, they're you know, they've already stopped developing this car. They're already on to twenty twenty five. Yeah, apparently. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Okay, those are our wild predictions. Red Bull. Hmm. Red Bull. Sergio Perez on one side. Max Verstappen on yeah, the other. Yeah, what, what's the differential? Okay. What was Max the had 575. Perez had 285. Ooh, so that was a 200 and almost 200 like 90, 290. 290. 290. So what's point. the over under this time? 150. Think he's you think he beats Paris by more than 150? 
Yes. No. <laughs> no. You think well, Paris? It's tough. Well, it's just hard to calculate because I don't think he scores as many points this year. That's true. So it's just a question of like, where does that put him? Yeah. Yeah. He, he he has like <clears throat> more normal, like Max will have more mortal amounts of points. I mean, maybe. I mean, we don't fucking know. He might f- f- fucking. All right, I'll, let's I'll let's say, say two hundred. You think he? You think he wins by two hundred? Eh. I'll he won by two. He won by two ninety this year. So yeah, that's... I think he wins by one forty. Okay. Then there's also the question of like, do they just yank him? Right. Which might happen. Very well could happen halfway through the year. They bring in if Ricardo. they don't yank him, I'll say one one forty. <clears throat> 175. 175. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go 150. Okay. I think that Max beats him by 150 points this year. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Any other? Let's let's go just like, you know, just wild predictions. Podium just, for Yuki Sonoda. <laughs> podium for Yuki Sonoda. Podium for Yuki Sonoda. That will be a bet that we want to have. Podium Does Yuki watch. podium? That podium will be a big... I mean, you'll make a lot of money on that <laughs> if it happens because those odds will be... You know, podium, plus a lot. Podium watch. You, you think, po- okay. Plus a thousand? Probably, maybe with, around with, there. With the Visa Cash apps the way they are these days? With the Cash Kings? What do you think? What about Ricardo? If Yuki's getting a podium, how many, like, is Ricardo I getting? think they're both in. You think they both, both podium this year? No, that I both think. the Cash App Kings podium in 2024? I only think one of them is going to podium. And his name is Yuki Sonoda. And his name is Yuki Sonoda. <laughs> I think if Yuki podiums and and Daniel doesn't, it's gonna be tough for Daniel to get that Red Bull job. Um, but I like it. I like it. This is wild prediction time. Let's see. What do I have for my for for some wild predictions? Why well, Lando gets two wins, Oscar gets one. I think. I think Fernando might win one and retire. <laughs> you think Fernando maybe squeezes one out? I think he might win one. He could have won in fucking Monaco this year. Yeah, it was so close. Um, I remember I was, we were at Indy 500 and I was screaming. Yeah. Because he just missed pole. I know. One thousandth of a second. Fuck. And I feel like he got fucked on some pit stop. On some no, no, he got fucked during the race. Yeah, they put him on the wrong tires. Yeah. It was raining and they put yeah, him on the wrong yeah. tires. I think, let's see. You think Leclerc's getting a win this year? Yes. Yeah? I think Leclerc's getting a win. I think maybe Fernando could get a win. I don't. I think the Aston. I think the Aston train is done. I think it's done. I think that their time up there is fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck you. I think it's done. I just don't trust the T. Te- I just don't trust like the, the 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 powers that be there. You know, I just don't trust them to like keep up. I trust. I trust in the Dark Lord. I trust him, of course. I trust him with. How my could life. you know? <laughs> yeah. I trust, him, I trust with- him with my life savings. <laughs> Um, um, I think I think Leclerc gets two wins this year. Okay. How think many? Perez gets a win this year. Yeah. Yeah. How I many? One. One. I give him one. Maybe two. I'll give him one. Yeah. What about the Mercedes boys? Think Lewis gets a win this year. Lewis yes. hasn't had a win since 2021. The last time Lewis won was in Abu Dhabi 2021. No, no, sorry. <laughs> I don't think he won that one. I remember he could be wrong. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. And, and, and Jenna. And Jenna. <laughs> Where Max tried to dunk from the free throw line and miss and just narrowly. <laughs> and then got, and then he break checked him. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So um You think Lewis gets one? You think George gets one? No, I don't George. George George it's gonna be a miserable year for George. I think Lewis gets one. We're really handing out wins like Oprah. We days. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, 24. I mean, there's 24 races. Lando so. gets two. Lando gets two. Oscar gets one. Leclerc gets one. one. Lewis gets one. That's still five. Perez gets one. That's still six. That, that means still means Mag- that Max can still Mag- win 18. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does anybody else get a win? Is there going to be like a weird Ocon one? Ocon, No. What about, I mean, maybe like, like a random one, maybe podium, like a random, like, oh, like, like, he Hungary? doesn't ever deserve it, like, <laughs> <laughs> like Hungary. Uh, I don't think so because I just think the dominance of those cars is too much. It's too much. I think Carlos Sainz is getting a win. I think he's he's eking out a win. 
surviving his way? No. No? No. He's only got two. He's got one in Silverstone. Yeah. Which was a freak win. Yeah. And then he got Singapore, which was not a freak. I mean, kind of. I mean, it was just a freak win in the sense that. Yeah. It's Max, a weird, weird, weird track. Weird track. And yeah. Max, uh, yeah. Red Bull just didn't have the setup that 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 race. Um, there's also this, the penalty, the engine penalties that are happening this year. So stupid. So that, but that might throw some, you know. Monkey. Yeah. It might some rent, sort of span into the works. Spanner into the works. So there could be, you know, a race where someone's starting out of position and it's just too much and they can't get there. Or they get you know, into a crash. Right. Saving your engines this year is going to be important. Um, yeah. No, Lando Norris, two or three wins this year. My big fucking, it's my big ball swing. Okay. All right. All right. You heard it here first. Two wins from Lando. At least. At least. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Um. Okay. I think that kind of. Let's see. Did did has Jenny sent Jenny us anything? Give us any yes, news. we got some news to talk about. Well, there's Alpha Tauri's officially Visa Cash app Red Bull. Oh, I want to. <laughs> Because this was like leaked. Was he, it a mistake, or did, were they like, "Let's do a vibe check on this"? Well, the vibes were not g- great. I know. <laughs> they did it anyway. I doubt you. Who I would ac- like. How do you accidentally change? You do it your- preemptively. You don't realize that it goes fucking public. It's like you press a thing. You don't think it's gonna go public because you think it's like an a, an account that no one is looking at. You you're you're. It's like a a person at an office. It's like making the thing, okay, well, let me get this all set and ready to go over here, and then I'll get all everything that's going to go on the page. We'll just make sure that that's all prepped and ready to go. Mm. So you really think it was... Stupid. I don't think that Visa Cash App wanted that to be leaked that way. It, it makes you look like you're fucking... Don't know what you're doing. Mm. Well, they're going to really... They're going to feel differently when Yuki's on the podium. Definitely. They, they they got in at the right time. Yeah. Red Bull's using those they're using the Red Bull parts. Um I really think yeah. I'm really I'm really just upset and disgusted. <laughs> at, at what? Visa Visa Cash App can't, you know, put their badge on a car, but you know, Mercedes can and Yeah, yeah. It's fucking, just it's just is what you know. I, I get that Mercedes actually makes the car. Or they but it's the still engine. the Mercedes Patronus AMG Formula One. It's yeah. still, you know, the, the the naming that's that's what this game that's what this game is. Yeah. Uh, Madrid is going to replace Barcelona in 2026. Street course, Madrid. Everybody's mad about this because it's a street track. Yeah. Why, why, the reason they should be mad is because Madrid sucks as a city. <laughs> it's an ass place. I've been, I've been to Bar- Barcelona. I've been to Madrid. Barcelona is far superior. And our friend from Spain says Madrid is fascist. I don't know. That's just what she says. <laughs> she said that Madrid's don't, super conservative and, and Barcelona's kind of like the young, fun city. And then Madrid is like super stuck don't up. G- don't get mad at me. Yeah. Don't our get friend mad who at lives me. in Spain was she like, yo, just fuck said Madrid. Madrid is fascist. <laughs> yes. That's what she said. <laughs> don't get mad at me yes. for saying Just relaying is, information. Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. But everyone's like, it's a street track. Uh, you know what else was a street track? Fucking Las Vegas. Las Vegas. <laughs> The best moment of my life was watching that race, and it slapped. Um, it was the best yeah. race that's ever been. Yes. Um, so it's just like it's just like a fucking low hanging fruit thing for people to gatekeep about. Like, shut up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Visa Cash Visa Cash App Racing Bulls are gonna be on the podium. <laughs> Stake of one team kicks Sauber is, is fucking whatever. I can't wait to see Drake at the race. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many races does Drake go to this year? He'll be in Vegas. He'll, he'll be in Miami. And he'll be in the Canadian one, probably. And he'll be in, he'll be at, in at least three. Yeah. Yeah. What's the over-under on that? Throw it on BetMGM. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Our, produ- our, our producer, Brian, thinks five. <sighs> yeah. We're, we're, I think five is a good number. I can see him going to like Monaco or something, too. You know? Definitely. Definitely yeah, Monaco. Yeah, be Monaco. He'll be <laughs> coming with like a yacht that's like too big for the harbor. Yeah. That happens. That's happened a few times. Really? People just bring a yacht and they're just like, we don't have room for this fucking big ass yacht. <laughs> they have to like charter another boat to like actually watch the race. I want to see him do content with um, 
Valtteri Bottas. They would do numbies together, I guess. Though it's a weird vibe, you know, be like a weird vibe. Well, remember a DJ Khaled and Lance Stroll? That was my favorite, one of my favorite videos of the year. What was that? Where they were like ride into my, like they were driving together. I don't remember that. Oh, it's amazing. Lance Stroll, DJ Khaled, in a Aston Martin together. Like Lance Stroll was driving him fast, like doing a hot no, lap with him. No, just like driving, just hanging out, just hanging out, just hanging, just cutting it up. Oh my just god, the boys! That is nightmare blunt and rotation. And DJ Khaled was just saying wild <laughs> shit, and Lance Stroll's like, "Yep, yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah for, totally, yeah, for sure, yeah." <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, okay, more news. Drive to Survive release date February twenty third. It's the it coincides with the last day of testing in Bahrain. God, they're gonna slap Gunther all over that trailer. I'm oh my god, that. they got they got to milk him for all he's <laughs> worth. worth. <laughs> um, Gunther apparently is planning on writing another F1 book, maybe a tell all. Fuck yeah! I would read that in a fucking heartbeat. I would hear him. I would read that <laughs> in his yes accent. Um, yeah, he's already writing it with ghostwriter James Hogg. Um, we're working on a second book at the moment. Steiner told Motorsport.com that was planned already before, but now obviously the story maybe changes a little bit. Ooh. Let's go. Um, we already talked about Papa uh, Science winning the car again. 61 years old. 61 and wins the car. Um, Marco is spilling more tea. Carlos and Max didn't get along at Toro Rosso. How I heard Marco... it was their dads that didn't get along. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, yeah. I heard it was the Yas and uh, Daddy Science. Yes. Yeah, Helmut Marco revealed that Carlos's time at Toro Rosso ended because of his and Max's toxic relationship. Fuck yeah, dude. Both Max and Charles joined in 2015. The relationship but the relationship between the two got pretty bad soon after. Max was quickly promoted to Red Bull after four races in his second season, and Carlos was moved to Renault in 2018. Marco said this, The atmosphere between those two was quite toxic at Toro Rosso, with the team composition as it was then. I saw no way that we could keep Carlos for us. So that's how he ended up at Ferrari via Renault and McLaren. He also did have nice things to say about Carlos. He said he's undeniably a great driver. He was almost the same level as Max in that Toro Rosso, but his bad luck was that precisely. Was that was that precisely? Max Verstappen was his teammate. For a long time he lived in the shadow of his father. He was unfairly labeled as a spoiled rich kid uh, that while he has had to constantly struggle to get where he is today in the junior categories he was already dead fast, and this F1 team test at Silverstone from the start. He was just a bit faster than Sebastian Vettel in the fast corners at the time when Seb was the benchmark for us. So ultimately positive words from Marco about signs. Yeah, but they didn't hold but, on to him. Yeah, they were just like, but it's for Stappen. Yeah. Let's not be crazy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the news of the day. Those are our predictions. You fucking heard it here first. Yeah. We'll see how these uh these all these pan the out. Cash App Racing Bulls. Marco was near a microphone. Um and uh yeah, the Cash App Kings. We're trying let's make that happen. Okay. Yuki and Yuki and Daniel, the, the Cash, Cash App, App Kings. Kings. Yep. Okay. All right, you motherfucking Vankas. Goodbye, Vankas. Goodbye, Vankas. Uh,